Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. On today's episode of Jedi TV, I'm going to take you through my step-by-step -step process of loading these 38 special black powder cartridges. But, disclaimers first. This is the method I use for reloading. It's based off from recipes I've learned from others, trial and error, and over two decades of competitive shooting with these loads. Also, YouTube doesn't like to pay ad revenue on this kind of content. I don't know if their views will ever change, but at the time of this recording, that's the way it is. So while this content is 100% free for you to enjoy, you can, if you're so inclined, support this channel and more specifically this type of content at www.buymeacoffee.com slash Jedi TV. Check it out. I think you'll find it pretty easy to do. And with that said, let's get started with step one. Brass is brought back from the range in these handy little plastic containers. The brass gets a good rinse. Then I fill the plastic container with warm water and a shot of simple green. Then that gets put into the sonic cleaner for 30 minutes. And the sonic cleaner step is something that I added just a couple of years ago. I find that it really does a fantastic job of cleaning the insides of the cases and that makes my tumbling media last much longer and we'll get to the tumbling process shortly but first we have to rinse that brass again and then it's one more time in the sonic cleaner for 30 minutes this time with just clear water. This is to ensure that there's no leftover residue from the simple green. And then it's out of the sonic cleaner and into the oven. And all I do here is let the oven preheat to 350 degrees with the brass inside. Once the bell goes off indicating that the oven is preheated, I found that the brass is dry enough. After the brass is cool, it's off to the tumbler. And I use a walnut media with a shot of Wright's Brass Polish in my tumbler. I found that this formula works well and lasts for several months before getting so dark and dirty that it no longer cleans efficiently. Of course, this all depends on how often you shoot and how much black powder brass you have to clean. And the brass just stays in the tumbler until it's clean, which is typically several hours. Once the brass is all clean and the media is separated, the brass goes on the reloading bench waiting for step two. And the next step is to deprime all of the brass, removing the spent primers from each case. This step also sizes the brass, so even new brass goes through the step of being run through the sizing and depriming die. Also, I should note here that unlike the 4440, I do not use any sort of lube on the 38 special cases. With these carbide dies, I've never found a need for it. If you have a different experience or method, let me know down in the comments. Once all the brass is deprimed and sized, it gets bagged up in quantities of 100, along with a box of 100 primers, and waits for step three. The third step is priming, and for this step, I use a hand primer, and I prefer the RCBS hand primer over any of the others that I've used. I would avoid using the Lee brand hand primer. While I very much like their dies and loading equipment, I do not care for their hand primer. So each round gets a new primer, 
and I like to run my finger over the head of the case just to feel that the primer is flush. And once you get a rhythm down, you can do this all very quickly. And I do this step while watching TV or YouTube. The towel on my lap helps cradle the brass and prevent it or a wayward primer from rolling off and getting lost. Of course, it also helps to keep my clothing clean during this step. Once I have five bags of the same caliber primed and on the shelf, it's time to move on to step four. And the fourth step is where these shells will get filled with black powder. I like to do this step 500 shells at a time. I have enough loading trays to do it that way, and my Desperado cowboy bullets are packaged in quantities of 500. So again, once the brass is all laid out, it's time for powder, specifically black powder. And the brand of black powder is not important as long as it's 3F. A Lee 1.3 cc dipper of triple F black powder to be exact. And as I've mentioned in other videos, this is often where I will recruit another pair of hands from around the house. Obviously I can do it alone, but it goes much quicker with someone moving the funnel while the other person scoops the 1.3 cc's of powder into the funnel. And before you know it, lickety split, it's time for the final step in the process, step five. Okay, so we've got our brass sized, primed, and filled with 1.3 cc's of 3F black powder. The only thing left to do before we can box them up to take them out to the range and do some shooting with them is to seat the bullet on top. Now the bullet I use is from www.cowboybullets.com. It's Desperado Cowboy Bullets. There's a link in almost every one of my videos. If I'm shooting black powder, it's with their bullets. This is a uh, 125 grain, 38 special bullet and uh, we're gonna squish that right on top of the powder, crimp it, box it, and it'll be ready to shoot. So at this stage, this is where I bell the mouth enough for us to get that bullet seated on there. That squishes it down. Now it's compressed that powder, and then the next step, we'll put that nice crimp right in the groove of that bullet. And there you have it, just like factory fresh. And again, see if we can get a close up on this bullet. That's the lube groove, or the, I'm sorry, the, the groove that, uh, the crimp groove that I'm putting it in is right there. That's the lube groove and then the crimp groove. And this is a lube that's compatible with both smokeless and black powder. Again, <coughs> bell the mouth. Seat the bullet, give it a nice crimp. Just like so. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up by smashing that like button. And feel free to share a link to this episode on your social media. It helps this channel quite a bit. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time.